crime, criminality, deviant behaviour, the criminal in general, the whole criminal justice system, police, the courts, probation service, they're of huge political and social importance. They are on the front page of a newspaper on a weekly basis. Hardly a day goes by without there being some type of story about crime and criminality right there at the very front of public debate. And these debates always come with some type of numerical information involved, be it the prison population, the number of gangs, the number of stabbings, the causes why somebody has moved into an offending behaviour. And studying criminology at this university with this added aspect of quantitative research really gives you a way to be able to understand where those numbers are coming from, what the strengths are, what the weaknesses, how to define them yourselves. So the next time you're having a conversation, you really understand what's being presented to you. Before moving into academia, I worked for a long time as a civil servant, eight years. Um, I worked in energy and climate change, the government equalities office, uh, but most of my time was spent in the home office in the Ministry of Justice. And those techniques are used across the board. Pretty much every single police force that I know of has got a statistician working for them, and some of the results they've come up with have been absolutely groundbreaking. But the techniques are also used in wider fields, the World Bank, the IMF, exactly the same techniques are used. So studying it in terms of criminology gives you a real interest in policy relevance, but what we teach you is completely usable in a vast variety of fields.